opening in the shape of Paul Brown. Manages to get that ball across right over to the left-hand side. Player up in support was Simon Lambert, but covering was Graham Mulcahy. Look where the number 13 is. And eventually that ball goes out over the line. But just looking across the field right now, Nicky, there is neither shape nor make to either side as the, in terms of formation. Yeah, certainly both, both sides have lost complete shape. Uh, David Breen is coming on for Sean Tobin, who's paying the price for a couple of misses there early in the second half. But it, just now the game is really in the balance. You know, Tom Condon made a, made a huge run up the field, but I think he'd be better off hitting the ball and hitting it earlier. And that, that I think, if you're from having played in the forwards, what you want is the early ball coming in. You don't actually want someone soloing 50 or 100 yards up the field because it takes too long. But uh, David Schutt, or Paul Schutt just ran that one out over the sideline, and he's been impressive at cornerback for, for Dublin today. So Donal O'Grady brings in the experienced uh, David Breen from the Piercing as Limerick goes short with that uh, sideline cut. Flick through by Paul Brown. This is Niall Moore. Takes on the first man. But well hooked. And the ball just ran away from him. And he is furious with himself. A very poor decision making by Niall Moore. And, you know, it's been very... Either side is having difficulty in scoring and Niall Moore was in acres of space and he just decided to run. I don't know whether he wanted to go and score a goal, but he just carried it into traffic and uh, it was a very poor decision. And, and points are... You know, it's, it, it's become difficult to score points here and every point is, is golden at the moment. A little over 10 minutes now since Limerick's last score as this game begins to get bogged down ever so slightly. Declan Hannan, touch of class, bit of style, Hannan on the run. He is a precocious talent, Declan Hannan. Another score from play. And that's what nine, nine more. points. And that's what Nine Moore should have done with the last one, you know, just straight over the bar, good, easy, easy score. Declan Hannon, very, very impressive and, you know, very clear decision making, just top the ball over the bar, get, get the deficit down to three points. And this game very much in the Melton pot, but, and every score is going to be vital, every score is going to count here, there's 20 minutes to go. And, you know, Limerick have the balance of possession, but they just need to get the scores and, uh, you know, Dublin vulnerable still here. Morris O'Brien, the man who won uh, two All-Ireland Under-21 titles with Limerick, he's been replaced by Anthony Daly and in comes Dara Plunkett one of the Dublin under 21s as away goes Gavin O'Mahony great run right down the centre needs help two Dublin men chasing after him he took too many steps well once again he was left all on his own Gavin O'Mahony nobody able to keep up if nothing else looked to be held back as he tried to make up his mind but Brian Gavin gives the free to Dublin yeah I see Donal O'Grady's very animated down in front of us I don't know whether it's with, with I think it's with Brian Gavin but maybe also with Gavin O'Mahony and that's the second time that a Limerick defender has run with the ball they actually just need to be more direct and, and let it go and take a chance this All-Ireland quarter final finally balanced now Dublin three points in front this is Ryan O'Dwyer good covering by uh, Seamus Hickey and Tom Condon and once more it's Condon who emerges with possession Good pressure by Dublin as Graham Mulcahy goes back to help. Very close to the sideline. Just hammers it down the field. Only as far as the waiting Shane Durkin from Ballyboden St. Endes. Couldn't control it and stolen back by Niall Moore. Loose pass. Easily cut out by Paul Shute. And Shute to Joey Boland. Possession being spilled around the middle. Knocked in around the house. Breaks towards Paul Ryan. Once more, he's got no room to manoeuvre. He's drawn the foul, he's won the free. Well, Limerick's defence not standing on ceremony. Paul Ryan it was who managed somehow to claim that ball and he had to work very hard for that free. Yeah, Seamus Hickey I think is claiming that he picked it off the ground but I'm not so sure. I think it, I think it, it did bounce and uh, you know, Limerick don't need to be fouling back there. They have, they have four players on, on yellow cards in their defence at the moment. It's always a sign of a, of a defence under pressure. But previous to that we had Niall Moore on the ball having taking it off Shane Dorkin when Dorkin had a chance and uh, you know Niall Moore then passed it away to a, to a Dublin player Paul Ryan pops it over the bar just keeps that scoreboard ticking over the gap is back to four points again seven points now for Paul Ryan and as we swing into the final quarter it really is anybody's game yeah but you, you still I think you, you, get to, you get to get the feeling that if Limerick are to win it they'll, they'll, need, they'll need to get a goal Don Grady Getting ready to make another change. Richie McCarthy has left the dugout and is warming up. Niall Moran it is who is set to make way. 
This is James Ryan, the former Limerick footballer, trying to barrel his way through, and he's one of three. Yeah, well, certainly, I think Niall Morn, you know, he's, he's paying the price for the, the last couple of balls he got on. He could have scored an easy point and then gave a bad pass away. But, you know, James Ryan wins a good free here. It's, it's in an awkward enough area. And, you know, while Declan Hannon has been playing very, very well, he hasn't been very convincing on the freeze so far. And this is an, and this is an awkward spot for him. But Richie McCarthy coming on, you know, he played against Waterford and played well at centre forward. So, you know, he's a very strong, aggressive player. And, uh, you know, this, this, this guy will certainly run, run at Dublin defence if he, if he wins the ball. We mentioned earlier that uh, Declan Hannan sat his leaving cert earlier this summer at Arts Gallerish in Limerick. Well, one of his teachers, Niall Moran, has just been replaced as Hannan stands over this. Once more, on Eric. His personal tally now in double figures. That's 10 points for the young man from Adair. And he has given some display in just his third game of senior championship. Yeah, he's an outstanding prospect and, you know, he's playing at centre forward. You know, we haven't seen Joey Boland even clearing the ball probably once just today, but Hannon is an outstanding prospect. Just a puck of the ball between them now in this All-Ireland quarter-final. Kilkenny and Tipperary waiting in the wings in the All-Ireland semi-final as out in front goes David Tracy. Good strong hand, lays it back to Dotsie O'Callaghan. Just got his shot away and O'Callaghan fires it over the bar. Good response from Dublin. The experienced David O'Callaghan knew they needed a score and he made it look very easy. Yeah, that was his, you know, he's usually pops up with a lot of scores for Dublin. He's been quite enough today, but certainly David Tracy has been playing very well since he's been introduced. A quarter of an hour to go and at this stage, Nicky, fitness and strength and conditioning is going to come into it. Who would your money be on uh, in terms of finishing the stronger? Well, I think that, you know, Dublin have the, the cushion dead of the three goals. They're still four points ahead. You know, Limerick are working very hard, but they're not always taking the chances that present themselves. And, and they're finding it difficult. Unless they get a, a goal, it's hard to see how Limerick are going to actually win this game. Limerick have come an awful long way in a short space of time. Negotiated their way through Division 2 of the National League. Got some hard qualifier wins on the road. And at Kevin Downs has popped up out of nowhere to score a real individual effort, his second point of the match. He has got some big scores for Limerick this summer. He's had a quiet game by and large by his own high standards, but that's a big score. The gap is back to three again. And there's a big Limerick crowd here, huge Limerick support, and they're only itching to get behind the team. You can see that, you know, they're just, they, they need something to, to grasp onto. And if they can get any little bit of momentum here, you know, they're, they're, the crowd will, will really get rise behind them. But it certainly is like a real championship Sunday now as the sun sprays all over Semple. The ball is with the, the Dublin substitute, Dara Plunkett. Tries to slip it through towards Liam Rush. Hasn't really been in the game in the second half so far. Back to Plunkett again. An ambitious shot. And despite the best efforts of Paul Ryan, that will go down as Dublin's third wide of the match. They really have been very economical as Limerick take the puck out quickly. Quaid picking out the unmarked Gavin O'Mahony goes long, great strong hand by Downs, back to James Ryan takes on his man, goes past Shane Durkin, but there was a foul by the Dublin defender, no advantage played free in to James Ryan and to Limerick and that all came from the quick puck out and the ball moved quickly down the field. Yeah, we've been we've been talking about it all day. Gavin O'Mahony, you know, previously he actually went on a big soul run from that position and lost the ball. You know, there he chose to hit the ball quickly up into the full forward line. And, you know, Kevin Downs hasn't been... He was excellent against Walt, but he's not getting the opportunities in front of goals. So you can see there, he, the last, he got a good point and just there now got a great catch and passed out to James Ryan for an easy point for Declan Hannan coming up. Declan Hannan makes no mistake that's 11 points today 28 in the championship and remember that name just 18 years of age and really reveling on the big stage here and the Limerick crowd growing and growing in behind getting behind the team now and, and you know rising their support and uh, you know Dublin need a score Dublin have seen their lead whittle back to two points Liam Rush does well to take that ball out of the air looking to release Paul Ryan who gets there just in front of David Maloney shoots over his shoulder from a very tight angle and that's a wonderful score he was running away from the goal with David Maloney hot on his heels had the confidence to take it on 
Yeah. Well, Nicky, you said they needed a score. What about that from Paul Ryan? Great score from Paul Ryan, going away from the goals, out towards the new stand side, off his left-hand side. You know, he's been the most impressive of the Dublin forwards, put it in line to where his goal. Eight points now for Paul Ryan as Limerick and David Breen attacked on the right-hand side, robbed by Shane Durkin. Durkin pops it outside. And now it's Dublin's chance through David O'Callaghan to carry possession across the halfway line. O'Callaghan pops it down the line in front of Plunkett, who's got pace to burn, but too much on that. And Tom Condon defiantly hammers it back down the field. Only as far, though, as Paul shoot. Lost it in the air. It falls to Hannon. There's a real buzz. Hannon's gone for it. Gary Maguire gets the hurl behind it, takes it at the second time of asking, and hammers it out the field. You could almost hear the crowd gasping as Hannon pulled the trigger. Now James Ryan burrowing his way through three Dublin defenders between him and the goal. Ryan tries to throw it across the square. But there for Dublin is Niall Corcoran turning on to his left-hand side. Pressure from Graham Mulcahy. But eventually Joey Boland from Nafiana gets it away. And now it's Limerick who are putting the squeeze on. Seamus Hickey tackled and fouled by David Tracy. Ten minutes of normal time to go. It's all hands to the pump, and it's got that real all-or-nothing feel about it now. Yeah, and, and Limerick really up and up and the, the pressure on, on Dublin. But again, their tendency to go on solo runs. We saw David Breen and then James Ryan going on solo runs and really running into blind alleys. And you know, they're better off to keep the play open and actually, you know, shoot for scores rather than taking them right into the square because you know just a couple of points will get him back into the game. Gavin O'Mahony is a difficult free here in front of us now under the old stand. Anthony Daly has made his fourth change. Danny Sutcliffe from St. Jude's is in for Shane Durkin. Gavin O'Mahony. This is a big, big free, a big moment. O'Mahony hammers it over the bar. His second point. Two points between them again. And Limerick just will not go away. Yeah, Limerick, can, Limerick are always able to bring the gap down to two points and then Dublin can get a score. It, the, the big test for Dublin will come if Limerick can get the next score and, and then maybe get level after that. That will be a big test to Dublin's will. Dublin bidding today to book their place in the All-Ireland semi-final for the first time in over 60 years. So much expected of them this season as Paul Ryan tries to take on Dave Maloney. Needs to go back outside. Support comes from Ryan O'Dwyer who's been kept on a much tighter leash in this second half. Pressure applied by...